and good afternoon. My name is Amanda and welcome to the Dunn Creative. For today's pick a card reading, we are going to be getting a message from spirit or a crossed over loved one or your guides or your angels, whoever it is that you want to reach out to from beyond the veil. This is your opportunity to get a message from that person. As I was dealing these out and setting the table up, I'm already feeling a couple of really prominent energies. So I'm really excited to get into that for you guys today and hopefully give you guys the message that you're seeking from a crossed over loved one or a guide or whoever it is you're looking to connect with. So if you're new to pick a card readings, I just ask that you close your eyes, take a couple of deep cleansing breaths to try to center your energy and focus in on pile feather, deer keychain, or unicorn. And if more than one pile calls out to you, or if there are multiple people you're hoping to hear from, maybe you could even assign a pile to each person, or just pick one pile for messages from who all the people you're looking to connect with. So once you've selected your pile or piles, you can go ahead and check the description box below for the timestamps, and I also try to pin them as the top comment. So without delaying this any further, let's go ahead and give you a moment to meditate on the cards, and I will see you over at your reading. Alright, group number one, or those of you who selected the feather, this is going to be your reading from a crossed over loved one, a spirit guide, God, whoever it is you're hoping to connect with from beyond the veil. And we're going to go ahead and start with this cover card that you used to select the pile. This is the postcard, and this is the postcard from Spirit Deck by Colette Baron reed Let me just grab the deck here. And I'm still very new to this. I've only drawn one card for myself and I've shuffled the deck really well and tried to connect with the energies of it the best I could. But we're just gonna go ahead and get into this. So your postcard from Spirit says, Dearest wonderful you, to help you manifest a life for the highest good, we invite you to examine your deepest desires. Imagine all your desires, no matter what kind, like magic seed pods in a basket, glowing with infinite potential. Look closely at each one. Are you afraid that some may bring you too much attention and invite negative reactions from others? Is change too daunting? Are you afraid to stretch and grow? Let yourself be led forward and let the seeds of positive intention take to the wind. Your desires count and you are worthy of them. They are essential for co-creating your world. Did you ever consider that when a desire comes from deep within you, it might be spirit moving you to create something beautiful to share with others? Some desires are infused with miraculous powers to move the heart and influence the world in ways you can't possibly know. We know you and love you so deeply and are so happy to support you. What an absolutely beautiful message. And I think this message is really going out to those who are in some sort of creative endeavor or someone who has been playing small. So this crossed over loved one or guide or angel is wanting you to know that it's time for you to quit playing small and to realize that those deep down desires you have aren't by accident or chance. You don't want these things just because. You want these things to happen or manifest into your life because there is happiness to be spread, not just to you, but to all those around you to ripple out and change lives. And I think for some of you, this is going to be some sort of creative project that you are trying to birth or have birthed or want to birth into the physical to branch out and help people, to uplift people. And I see for someone that might be some sort of book or blog or some sort of written correspondence or um, written I don't know the word I'm looking for, just like written art that you want to share with the world. And for some people that might be music, that could be songwriting, um, you know, and you can even communicate um, without words through a painting. Maybe you have a painting that you're trying to create and you're infusing it with things because they do say a picture's worth a thousand words. So there's your word count in the picture. So you're going to have to apply this to your specific situation because we do have multiple people watching this and their energies, of course, are going to enhance or influence this reading. So let's go ahead and get some more guidance. Okay, this is so, so cool. And the first place I'm being drawn right away is answering the call. 
the time is now. And that really goes hand in hand with what this postcard was saying about, you know, just knowing that those desires you have means something. They are coming from spirit. Spirit is driving you forward and now is the time. So if this is a project you had been working on and put on the back burner, if it's something you've been procrastinating because you just don't think you're worthy of bringing this creation to life or going after this goal or, or dream that you have, just know that the time to, to be playing small is over. It's time for you to embrace that this is your path and that you deserve and need to go forward in this endeavor or this project or whatever this is relationship for some of you this could be a relationship that the spirit is pointing to and as far as spirits that are coming through to me i do feel a very strong feminine energy and there is a, a younger female that really this card is really um calling me like she may have had blonde hair she could have been a sister or a daughter or a really good friend to you, maybe a cousin. Someone who feels like when they passed, they were in their younger years. So that could go up to 30, but I'm really thinking this is someone who was in their teens, maybe early 20s at the latest. Um, and then I'm seeing also a male energy that again on the younger side, and I do feel like this was a friend to you, possibly a brother. Um, maybe even a cousin, but this just feels like a very fun, lighthearted relationship that may have gotten really, um, I'm getting tingles as I say that, it may have gotten complicated with this person because maybe they were addicted to um, drugs or alcohol, or maybe they were um, in trouble a lot with the law possibly, and I do feel this person may have taken their own life. So if that resonates. If not, that is just a spirit stepping through for someone that's not you in this reading because I'm also picking up, up on a grandmother energy or a mother energy. Someone who died after the age of 50 that's just um, was very loving, maybe outspoken at times, but still very loving and uh, prepared to take care of their own is what I'm hearing. So I don't know if any of those resonate. And if you're the person you're hoping to hear from doesn't fit any of those criteria, you're still receiving a message from that person. Those are just the three that are really strong and standing out to me most because they really want to connect with the people that they're that are watching this that really resonate with those energies. And you may actually even uh, resonate with all three or just one or none at all like it doesn't matter it's it, this is totally taking what resonates for you so then here we have the hyena card it says dare to be different and i do feel this thing that you're wanting isn't something that you're you know i don't feel like this is that white picket fence american dream kind of thing that you're trying to go after this is something that scares you because it is so different and again, going back to that um, book idea or that book that you want to maybe get out in the world, maybe this is you wanting to publish this book, but you're thinking that maybe your idea is so outside the box that no traditional publisher is going to want to pick this up because it's either too niche or it's just not very trendy right now. Whatever the case may be, that doesn't mean you have to go that route because this is Dare to be Different bring this thing to life in your own way. So that might look like self-publishing or finding a very small publishing house to publish this book. Um, and again, the book is just an example. This could be any kind of creative thing. You're, you're not going with the grain and trying to do this the traditional way. You're trying to branch out and do something that's, you know, either never been done before or been done more rarely than, you know, the average Joe would do this thing if they were doing it, if that makes sense. I hope I'm not confusing you because that's what's really, you're going your own way, you're beating, you're marching to the beat of your own drum is what I'm seeing and it, it feels good. But these two I think could go hand in hand. We have the happiness card and we also have strength. And I do feel like you guys, the message that your crossed over loved one or your guide or your angel or whoever it is you're trying to connect with, I think what they want you to know is that you're allowed to be happy. You deserve to be happy because I think for many of you, you almost put this sense of guilt around feeling happy like I don't deserve it or you know, I should be more serious about things. And they're just saying, like I just heard lighten up. 
Um, and they're not trying to be mean. I just, I feel like they want you to shake yourself out of maybe a depression or anxiety or just really dark. I'm just hearing like dark night of the soul. Um, just haven't been having the best time in your life. And they want you to know that it's okay to have fun. It's okay to be happy and embrace the moment and just enjoy yourself because I think you guys are such hard workers and maybe you miss this person so much you almost feel guilty living when they are not living, but they have news for you. They are doing way more living, you know, living than you are because they aren't confined to a body. They aren't confined to this little box on this 3D earth. They have limitless, you know, happiness at their disposal, joy at their disposal, fun at their disposal. I just see them just having the time of their lives and they want you to be able to enjoy what you can while you're still on this planet because they they wished even they had had more time to have happiness while they were here. Maybe they themselves were suffering depression and anxiety and so they know all too well what that does to a person and they don't want you to have to live your life that same exact way. And I do see one of the people um, that the grandmother energy, she says, you know, my life was really hard, but I made the most of it. And I hope that you can do the same. So I'm not sure who exactly that's for, but I'm sure someone will be able to claim that. So with this strength card, she's holding a lion cub and a couple lion cubs here, or maybe they are cheetah cubs. I don't know. They look like lions to me, but the, um, the strength card in the traditional tarot, there is a lion, like a, a large lion in that card represented. But in this card, there are two, maybe three. It's hard to tell. Yeah, there are three cubs here. So it's almost like you are on the beginning part of your path. You're just now starting to take that, you know, you've just opened the gate and you're ready to go on that journey now. And you don't just have one lion here that's gonna grow up and be that powerful, strong lion. You have three of them. That is such a powerful message. And now the tingles come, crown tingles. Okay, you knew it was gonna happen in a reading from spirit. You knew it was, you knew it was gonna happen. So yes, that, I got it, I got it itch. It's just like bugs or snakes crawling in my hair. Oh my goodness. But yes, you guys, have so much strength that you haven't even tapped into that strength is still in that infancy stage so if you already yourself feel like a really strong person just you wait you're gonna get so much more strength you won't even know where it came from but it's being fueled by your higher self and spirit themselves you know the people that you love that have crossed over your guides your angels god the universe whoever it is that you know is with you they are working with you and through you as well so it's almost like you have your strength and then their strength and it just amplifies your strength so much more. So then we have the dream talk card and I'm just going to go ahead and read it. It says your subconscious constantly and subtly speaks through your dreams. It's just one of the many ways in which your soul and those here in the spirit world can reach out and communicate with you through signs, symbols, messages, and more. Now, how cool is that? So these loved ones that may have crossed over that you're hoping to connect with today you may see them in dreams or you may want to see them so badly in dreams that it almost like eludes you or evades you and you just are praying or hoping that you can meet up with them in the astral realm and this is just saying that they are working with you in the astral realm while you're sleeping that's when they can truly connect to you even if you don't remember having a dream about them or seeing them in a dream they are there with you. They are helping you, guiding you, and all of that. But it says here with the community, um, they are reaching out and communicate with you through signs, symbols, messages, and more. And you guys did select the feather to choose this pile. So they may be connecting with you through feathers, um, birds. Birds are those messengers from spirit, communication, and you may so you may have some weird activity going on with birds maybe birds are really brave when it comes to you maybe birds are pooping on your head as they fly over you which is actually a sign of good luck so if that happens yes it's gross but it's a sign of like blessings and good luck coming your way so if that ever happens that you get pooped on by a bird don't 
feel too bad about it because they are just saying, hey, there's some good stuff coming. I know that wasn't very good stuff, but there's some good stuff coming to you. But just really pay attention to your dreams because they do communicate with you through your dreams. Even again, if you don't remember seeing them in the dream, they are there, they are communicating with you. Then we have the nature card. It says that this is a time to absorb the healing properties that, that nature has to offer. Your mind, body, and soul need nourishment, energy, revital, revitalization, and strength. Nature has much to offer, so take time to connect and spend some quality time outdoors so they can feel closest to you while you are in nature. Because I feel like maybe you guys have some really good memories with this person when you guys were out in nature together. Maybe you guys went camping or spent a significant amount of time. I just, I even see like a grandfather energy that maybe took you hunting when you were young or there was something about outside, maybe gardening you guys spent oh and fishing fishing just came up real strong with this grandfather energy and i think that's a very specific message for somebody i just see you guys like sitting there fishing together just having a great time and maybe there was one of your siblings around as well or a couple siblings i'm seeing there's multiple children and a grandfather energy um but yes during your outings in nature, you are going to feel closest to this person. And even if you didn't have a connection to nature where this person was concerned, maybe you didn't spend a lot of time outside with this person, it's just being in nature yourself will raise your vibration to be able to be closer to where they vibrate. So it's like you're down here normally, they're up here normally, but when you're in nature, you can come up here so that they can come down just a bit and then you guys are on equal footing to where they can actually get you communication. And the reason they can communicate with you so much through your dreams is because your walls are down and you're not stuck in a lower vibration, if that makes any sense. So getting out in nature is going to be key for you guys to be able to communicate with them. And they will communicate with you through, you know, feathers, birds, other um, symbology that we have here on the board. We've got butterflies, we've got birds, we've got tiger cubs, or sorry, lion cubs. we got another blue butterfly. So two blue butterflies, a purple butterfly, an orange butterfly, flowers. I'm just seeing a lot of that. And then we have a starfish here, um, maybe some shells, some more feathers, a key, some gears. Um, this is all, oh, a deer. There's a deer, so you may see deer in your neighborhood or while you're out on a nature walk. And if, especially if this deer seems to take an interest in you and not just the interest of, is this person going to hurt me? And then they run away, but like an interest where they stand there and kind of stare at you for a while. Just know that this is your crossed over loved one communicating with you through this deer. Very beautiful. So you guys, I do think that's all I'm seeing for you, but you will have to let me know below who this loved one was that you were hoping to connect with today and if the messages resonated, any memories you have with this person. It's always fun to hear the different memories you have with your crossed over loved ones because that is a way we can keep them very much alive in the 3D realm by talking about them and just reminiscing about the good times you had with this person. So you'll have to let me know below if this resonated. And as always, you guys, thanks again so, so much for all your likes, comments, shares, subscribes, and all the things. And I really, truly do hope to see you back at the Den Creative. All right, bye. All right, group number two, let's go ahead and find out what messages your crossed over loved ones, spirit, your guides, your angels, God, the universe, whoever it is you're hoping to connect with from beyond the veil. Let's go ahead and find out what message they have for you today. And you guys selected this deer charm keychain kind of thing here. And it might be kind of hard to tell what's going on with my lighting situation. I don't have the best lighting setup for just tabletop at the current moment. So I do apologize, but there may be a message for you in deer. Maybe um, there's going to be deer that are communicating with you in your neighborhood or while you're out for a drive and you see them. So that might be very important to you or maybe this person that you loved that has crossed over had 
an affinity for deer. Maybe they had deer in their house as far as um, portraits or they just love the animals I'm really picking up. Um, so what I'm going to be using today for your cover here was the Postcards from Spirit by Colette Baron reed And I've only used this deck once and it was just to pull a card for myself because I just got this deck along with a couple others. Thanks for the Hay House sale that was going on on their website. But this is such a powerful deck. Just in the one postcard I drew for myself and the message I received, it was so on point it brought me to tears. So. I hope I can um, get you some really accurate messages from whichever crossed over loved one or spirit guide or angel or God themselves, whoever you see that as. I hope the messages you receive are very fitting and resonate for you. So let's go ahead and just read the first card here. And it says, Dearest you, you have a unique purpose and destiny that only you can fulfill. But first you need to know that destiny isn't a destination. You don't arrive at some special place where poof, you're perfect and happy all the time. It's about establishing and firming up a commitment to a certain experience, whatever form that takes. Your soul knows what you need to experience. Your destiny is to be present to all of life's adventures to discover your talents and full potential through allowing inspiration to lead you and to risk standing apart from the crowd to listen to your soul. You are special as much as you are also paradoxically one with the world individually yet part of a great whole. Both truths have led you to this moment where you are saying you are on the right track, where we are saying you are on the right track. Even if your ego self doesn't see that, listen to your soul, check in with spirit, keep going. Spirit loves you, life loves you, we love you. So this person who has passed away, if this is a loved one you're hoping to connect with today, I feel like this person in life, they were someone who believed in you. You felt very good under their influence or when you were with this person, you felt like life had a lot of meaning like they just lifted you up and made you feel happy and made you feel like your dreams weren't silly. They made you feel like you had a lot of potential that you were excited to tap into, not just to prove to this person you could do it, but just to prove to yourself you could do it. They just were such an inspiring force in your life. And I think when you lost this person, it was a devastating blow. It just, it feels to me like you guys just, it was so hard to even fathom that this person was no longer walking the earth. And my heart does go out to you guys because this is a heavy pain that you guys associate with the loss of this person. And I do feel uh, much like group number one, there is a younger male energy, um, someone who was probably around 30 or younger when they passed that they just, they feel like they're very close to you. This could have been a brother, a friend, a cousin, um, even a father. If you lost this father when you were young and they were not that old themselves, but that's just, that's the first energy I'm really feeling before we flip these cards and figure out what's going on. That's the first energy. And for one person, this is a father that you lost at a very young age and they just want you to know they are always with you. They have seen all the milestones and they are your biggest cheerleader beyond the veil and they are getting tingles now. Yes, they they just love you. And the name John just came out. I don't know if that was your father's name or a middle name or a, a, a name that's going to help you validate that this, and I know John is such a common name, but that's just what came to me. Um, so just know if that is pertaining to your scenario that absolutely this is who you are connecting with. So let's go ahead and get some more guidance. I never know when these are in the right spot or where they should go, so we're just going to roll with this. So. Wow, so just this postcard and the energies that were really coming in before I flipped these cards, I can see now why all of this is going on. And we have closure and we have grieving, but I feel like this closure hasn't happened yet, but it's on at the horizon for you guys because I do feel many of you are really stuck in this cycle of grief right now and in the past and it's just, it's not some easy thing you can just get over and my camera is not focusing so let me get that going real quick okay 
So I've used this deck a little bit. I just got it, but what's really standing out to me, and I said this in a recent reading I did, this, I don't even know what it is. It's really hard to tell, um, but this thing here, let me see. Okay, so this thing here, it reminds me of an iPhone or a cell phone. And what that really speaks to me as is as this person is using technology to reach out to you. And that's standing out very strong, especially when you're thinking of them and really absorbed in how much you miss them and wish that you could talk to them. It's like they want to talk to you and they are using your phone or maybe your computer or the electricity in your home by dimming the lights, turning out the lights, uh, turning music on or off, I'm seeing. And they do speak to you through lyrics of songs or as you're you know, going about your day, maybe they will play a song that every time you hear that song, it always reminds you of them and it may randomly come on the radio or it just, maybe when you're listening to this specific song, you just can feel their energy and their presence. And they just wanna say that that is one of the ways they speak to you is through music, through technology, through your phone, through electricity as well. And I, as I say electricity, I see you like watching a thunder and lightning storm. And you almost just feel so connected to them when there is thunder and lightning. And I don't know if that's because maybe you guys spent a significant memory where you guys were in a thunderstorm or you you know were talking about a thunderstorm or and I even see someone who rode out a hurricane with this person and it just it, anytime there's a hurricane or a storm or even a tornado maybe you think of this person and that might be very specific for somebody because I don't even know where that came from it just flowed through me um, but yes grief you guys are still very immersed in your grief of the loss of this person, but they are saying that you are about to release that grief. Not that you won't miss them, not that you won't yearn to see them again. That's not what's going to happen. You'll still miss them. You'll still think fondly of them and they will still be a part of your life, but it's going to be through this closure that's coming to you that you can move on with your life without feeling the weight of not having them next to you or by you. For some of you, this could have been a significant other that you lost either recently or a very long time ago because time really isn't linear the way that we've been told. So whether you lost this person forever ago or just recently, it can still feel very fresh to you, the loss that you are feeling and enduring when this person is no longer feeling that hole in your life. But with this closure card, there is a door back here and she's walking away from the door and walking forward into the future. And that's not to say that this person is not grieving, you know, not still thinking about this person that passed. That's not to say you are not thinking of them. You're just using what you have to move forward, appreciating the time that you did have with this person, but not dwelling on the fact that you don't get any more if that makes any sense. So there is gonna be this sense of closure. This is what they want you to know, that they are not really pushing you in the direction of closure, but they're trying to hold your hand and guide you into the direction of closure because they don't want you to feel in grief and sad and depressed all the time because that's no way to live is what they're telling me. There's, that's just no way to live. So then we have the memories card and it says your memories are like diamonds in the treasure chest of your spirit. More and more memories are arising within you. Remember the happier moments with your loved ones who are here in spirit, in the spirit world. For neither time nor distance can stop the energy of love that you have for one another. And that's absolutely what I was kind of saying with this, you know, just accepting that they're gone doesn't mean that you cut them off. and. Just because you move on and have that sense of closure does not mean that you negate anything that happened with this person or that you don't miss them anymore. But just knowing that the memories you hold and share with this person are like beautiful jewels that you can pull out of that treasure chest and examine anytime you want. That's something no one can ever take away. Time can't take away. Especially if you're someone who writes these memories down in some sort of journal or maybe even in a document on your computer, when you think of this person, 
it might be a good idea to write these memories down so you have them and when you're really missing this person you can go read those memories and those thoughts or feelings and really feel close to their energy. So then we have the impasse card here and it says reflect and redirect your energy. So I do feel like many of you guys have just been going through the motions. That's just what I'm seeing. Like, I'm seeing. like you guys are, are there and you're doing things but your heart's really not in it a lot of the time. Not to say you don't have bursts of passion and desire to make your dreams a reality, but this is saying that, you know, going back to this postcard, it says, you know, you have a unique purpose and destiny that only you can fulfill, but first you need to know that that destiny isn't that destination. You're not supposed to just, you know, grind through everything and then get to where you're going. You're supposed to enjoy the journey. That was the main message of that. And I think many of you just really aren't enjoying the journey. And especially if you're on, you're someone who's on a spiritual path and you know about the ascension process and you've been going through the ascension process. I do feel like many of you have just been really stuck in feeling like life's not really gonna get better. Even if you are feeling these energies and you're feeling your body upgrading and all that's going on with that, you're still kind of like stuck or stagnant in the fact that life isn't as beautiful as you once thought it was. But that's not to say that it won't ever feel that way again. It's just the feeling that maybe some of you are feeling right now. But it says reflect and redirect your energy. So in order to know what to do, a lot of times we have to identify what's not working in our lives, what's going wrong, what's just not happening at all acknowledge that and accept that that is where you are right now and once you have that acceptance it's like pandora's box just opens for you and there is all this opportunity it's like it's you know how they say this is what it reminds me of they say when you stop looking for love it will it'll finally find you and that is really true but that is a similar thing to this you know at this impasse that some of you may be at just feeling like life has no meaning, no purpose, no direction. And this is saying with this closure card, you're getting that nine energy, that completion energy, so that you can have a new beginning and really start something beautiful. Because you have the monkey card. It says experience all that life has to offer from Archangel Raphael. You are finally going to step into your own truth, into your own power, and realize that you need and want to enjoy every moment of your life. Even if you're having a hard time, that's not to say that those moments are meaningless. They still mean a lot, and a lot of times they mean even more. When we are in that dark place, when we can think of those beautiful memories, it might almost even help pull us out of that dark place that we go at times. But this is just saying experience that all that life has to offer so I'm just as I read that I heard say yes more so when a friend calls and wants to meet up and you you know have the propensity to just say no I got things to do around the house but maybe next time this is just saying say yes and say yes to you say yes to your dreams whatever it is you feel like doing even if you're someone who's like got this pile of work and your house is a mess and you just don't even have enough hours in the day to complete something and then you think of something that would bring you happiness like for me my my little um guilty pleasure that i only really allow myself to do about once a year if that is to play the sims the sims 4 i from the time that they had that first sims game in the year 2000 I've been obsessed with it and like just absolutely immersed in it. Sims 2 was really my glory days. I loved The Sims 2 and I just, I as a mother, as a wife, as someone who works from home and has all these things going on, I just don't, I rarely allow myself to do that because I'm like, well, I have all this other stuff to do. But you know, I find at the times that I just allow myself to play for a couple hours, which is hard because once I start playing, I don't wanna stop and like time just doesn't exist anymore. But when I allow myself that time to just do what I really love, for some of you that might look like reading a book or taking a nice bath or going on a nature walk or just being by yourself, doing something fun for yourself, pampering yourself, find whatever that is and allow yourself to do that on a regular basis because it's actually gonna fill your cup up to overflowing. 
and then you're going to feel more passion in the life that you're living. That impasse energy, that grief is going to start to melt away and leave you with something beautiful, especially if you're taking the utmost care of yourself and allowing yourself to have fun because life isn't supposed to be work, 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 do, 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 do. It's supposed to have fun and meaning and being, just being, just doing nothing and just sitting there and being a human being, not a human doing. I know that's kind of a cheesy line, but it's so true. Most of us are human doings at this point rather than human beings. And Spirit wants you to know you can, you can let those dishes sit in the sink another couple of hours or a day. You can allow the yard to um, go another day without being mowed. You know, just allow yourself that time to not feel so go, go, go. I have to do this. I have to do that. I'm going to go over here. got to go over there. And just allow yourself to be and to do the things you enjoy on a fairly regular basis. It's really going to open this beautiful, I just see like this flower that's this tight bud that's just now starting to unfold and bloom and blossom out into this beautiful fragrant flower. Fragrant, that's the word, not flagrant. I don't know what I just said. <laughs> but you guys, yes, experiencing all that life has to offer and enjoying the little things. And a really good piece of advice and way to do that is to ground yourself. It says being distracted, unfocused, tired, irritated, and impatient are all signs that you're ungrounded. Now is the time to become centered and allow spirit to help you ground yourself and reconnect with the divine source. And there are multiple ways you can ground. The easiest way to ground is to literally get out in nature, take your shoes off and put your bare feet on the earth. It is like charging your battery. It's like when your cell phone is running low, you don't just make it power through and expect it to stay on forever. No, you take that cell phone, you plug it into the charger and you let it sit overnight or for a couple of hours and then it's ready to go again. But when you yourself expect yourself to just go, 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 go all the time, you're not allowing yourself to recharge and to be focused and, you know, just not distracted by everything that's going on around you. When you can recharge, when you can ground yourself, you're going to be plugging yourself back into something that has more meaning for you. So another good way to ground yourself is um, if you can't get out, if it's, you know, you're watching this at the time of my posting, we're kind of coming to the end of summer into early autumn in the Western Hemisphere. But if you're watching this in December in the Western Hemisphere and there's snow on the ground, don't worry, there are other ways to ground. You can um, do a sea salt bath, you can literally do a meditation where you can picture your feet growing roots and growing into the earth. That will help ground you. Um, just going outside and touching a tree. Even if you can't get your shoes off on the ground, you can take off, if it's real cold, you can take off your gloves and just touch a tree. And that will help ground you. You can carry around grounding crystals like black tourmaline or shungite or carnelian is a really good one as well. There are all sorts of ways you can ground and this person who has crossed over wants you to know the more grounded you can get, the easier it's going to be for them to communicate with you. And a lot of times, because this is below the grieving card, a lot of times when you are in that really heavy state of grief, they can't connect with you because when we're in grief, you know, if this is our base vibration, when we're in grief, we dip way down. And of course, our loved one isn't even at our base foundation. It's like way up here. So look how far away those energies are. It's going to be real hard for you to hear their little hello from heaven if you're so low. So living a life you enjoy, experiencing what life has to offer, and enjoying the journey is going to bring you back up to your baseline. Grounding yourself, enjoying those beautiful memories with this person is going to bring you higher than your baseline. And then that person can actually connect with you much easier through your thoughts, through your dreams, through music especially, you guys. Music is going to be key for you guys. And I do feel like and find for myself that music has a very calming and grounding effect, especially if it's the right kind of music. And it can really put me in the zone. And right as I said that, there is an actual song that I want you guys to listen to. It's one I discovered recently, and I'm just going to go ahead and write it right here for you guys. If you want to look this song up on YouTube, or if you already know of this song, listen to it, because it might take you to a place 
And it's funny because when I discovered this song, I said, this song takes me to a place I've never been. It makes me homesick for a place I've never been. And it, it reminds me of memories that I don't remember ever having. And I, lo and behold, I go to the comments of this video and so many other people had this same thought or idea. And I was just blown away that so many people felt that this specific song took them to another realm or made them homesick for a place that they had never discovered. So I'm gonna go ahead and share that song with you. Go ahead and look it up and listen to it. And as you listen to it, really feel yourself connecting back up with this crossed over loved one because it's gonna help you feel really close to them. And that might be the reason I found that song randomly and now I'm passing it on to you is because this person desperately wanted you to hear it. And I was just kind of a byproduct or a, 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 side, a side part of it. I wasn't the main part. And the reason that I even knew about that song was to pass it on to you. That's really what I'm feeling in this moment. So I really do hope this resonated you guys and that you got um, some guidance and some messages from that person you loved or those people that you love that have crossed over or your guides or your angels. I did get very specific with who this might be in the beginning, but if you feel a more grandmotherly energy or a parent, a mother, more feminine energy that we didn't really discuss, that doesn't mean that that person did not communicate with you through this reading because they absolutely did. It's just that that one father figure that died young or that friend or brother or cousin energy, it's going to be different for each of you, but that those two really stood out to me and wanted to connect with you guys today. But again, if you had a grandmother, a mother, a baby, anyone in your life that has crossed over that doesn't really fit that criteria, their message still came through this reading for you, absolutely. So I really do hope this resonated. You'll have to let me know some fun memories that you had with this person that has crossed over because that is a really beautiful way we can keep them alive is by sharing the memories that we have of this person. And especially if you have any memories that really hit home with this reading or um, things we discussed in this reading, maybe even about the lightning, you'll have to let me know because that really helps me know I'm on the right track with these messages that are coming through for you guys and that the messages actually hit their mark. And so yes, you will have to let me know if it resonated. And as always, you guys, thanks again so, so much for all your likes, comments, shares, subscribes, and all the things. And I really, truly do hope to see you back at the Den Creative. All right, bye. All right, group number three, let's go ahead and find out what message spirit has for you, which specific uh, crossed over loved one or guide or angel is trying to connect with you today, especially if you really meditated on these cards and tapped into exactly who it is you want to connect with. That's you're going to be your best bet to getting the exact message that was meant for you from the specific energy. So we're going to be using these postcards from Spirit by Colette Baron reed This is a new deck I recently got and have only used once besides this reading. And that was just to draw my own card just to see how it worked. And I was moved to tears because it was very accurate and beautiful. And it just really resonated with the situation I was thinking of as I drew the card and the person I was thinking to connect with. So if you chose this little... Um, unicorn it came on a straw and I had to use a little piece of moss to hold it because it just wants to kind of flop to one side but uh, the unicorn symbology actually might resonate with you with this person maybe they liked unicorns or um, collected unicorns or maybe you yourself do and that's why you were so drawn to it and this person knew that so that's why they decided you know as I'm selecting little trinkets to use as the cover pile um, that they decided that I should use that because you would know to connect with that. So let's quit rambling and get right into this. So we have a postcard from your crossover loved one and it says, Dear You, uncertainty is the new normal for the whole world. Oh my goodness, this is already on point with what's going on in our 3D world right now with the old Rona. So let's keep reading. So it says, things are changing at a rapid pace and the old ways we once trusted are no longer reliable. Oh my gosh, you guys. Sorry, I keep putting my own commentary in here, but this is like so on point. But it says, but leaving the familiar behind can be a good thing. When you are pushed to, this, to step into the unknown, you are pulled forward into discovering new possibilities that have been hidden in plain sight. 
check in with your higher power. Your soul knows better than your small self. Have faith in the support of a higher power and the infinite potential for your life. Right now, the advice we have for you is this. Try something new. Do something different. You won't know how it feels, what it looks like, or what the outcome will be if you do not take that first step into the unknown and experience the unfamiliarity. You'll be so glad you did because the treasure will appear. We are so proud of you for being brave. You are so loved and supported. Oh my gosh. I have chills, guys. Wow. That was if that wasn't a collective message, I don't know what would be this year of 2020. Even if you're watching this later than 2020, because this is a timeless reading, even if you're watching this later, this energy is still very pertinent to wherever you are in the future watching this because we are all going through a collective shift as a planet right now and it's being felt by everyone and there are the more spiritual people who are taking this all in stride and knowing that this is moving us to the golden age of you know, the age of Aquarius, the new earth, 5D consciousness. But other people are literally breaking down and falling apart because they feel like the world is literally ending, like the earth is shifting beneath their feet. And it's just a really difficult time. Even if you're in the know and, you know, kind of the inside, you're in on the inside joke that is going on in 2020, even if you're in that inside path or inside track, it still feels scary because it is so unknown and we don't know how it's going to happen. We don't know what all is going to happen and what all needs to end for a new beginning to come into play. It's all very precarious and it can be very scary and my heart goes out to all of you because we're all dealing with this and instead of tearing each other down and being divided like the mainstream media and you know the powers that be or as I call them the powers that were want us to be instead we need to be clinging to each other and lifting each other up and helping each other because we are all one we are all a collective that's why even if your life is going well and you're i think you guys are my empath pile even when things are going well for you you can still feel the collective that is just breaking down right now and your heart just feels so heavy with having to feel all this energy but just know that you guys are my pillars of light of the three piles. You guys are my pillars of light. Those lighthouses I keep talking about that were sent here to save humanity from itself. And it's not like any one of us is some sort of savior or the world is on our shoulders. That's not how this is working. We all as starseeds have incarnated to work as a web, a network all throughout the world to be that net, that safety net, to help everyone who has fallen. And that is us all working together. There is no one person, no one guru, no one prophet or savior that is going to, you know, help all of humanity ascend. It is a collective effort, and each of us has our role to play in this grand play we call 3D Earth right now and the ascension of 5D Earth. It is a grand play, very, very beautiful, yet sometimes tragic and devastating play that we are all playing out right now. So let's go ahead and get some more guidance from your crossed over loved one. Actually, before I do, I'm just, I'm getting a grandmother energy and this, I do feel like this is that same or very similar grandmother energy to one that was stepping forward in pile one. And she feels like someone who is very outspoken in her day and um, not afraid to let someone know if they're messing up or just, you know, kind of maybe almost brusque with her um, approach to someone. Very, very, um, instead of passive aggressive, she may have been aggressive and you always knew where she stood and who she liked and who she didn't. But she just wants you to know that she's with you because she knows that you need her and I'm getting also like this ancestral con connection. So whether this was your mother's father, your father's mother, or whether this was your mother's mother, your father's mother, a great grandparent, or someone you looked up to as a more grandmotherly energy that wasn't even blood related to you, I still feel like this person is calling to whatever side of the family this may have come from. If she was, say for instance, she was your mother's mother, connect to her and the ancestral line of her family 
because that is still very much alive within you and probably needs some healing, especially because I feel this grandmother energy was, you know, again, very brusque and just very um, almost abrasive at times. So maybe your relationship with her wasn't always peaches and roses. And I do see that she tried her best, but, you know, she, I feel at times had issues where she didn't feel loved by her parents or her family and she had a hard time at times showing that love to her children and to you and to all her grandchildren it just it feels very much like she wishes now that she could have been better but she knows there's better for you because she's seen it and she knows how strong you are is really what i'm seeing so wow that was powerful let's go ahead and get more information Okay, so if you guys have watched any of the other piles, you will know there are a lot more cards on this table than there were in those piles. And it's because from this deck and this deck, three cards came out of each one of those rather than two. So you guys got two extra cards. This, this energy, this spirit has a lot to say and a lot they want to talk about today. So let's go ahead and get right into this so we don't waste any more time. So we have the confidence card and that's the first place I'm being pulled because this is all about your confidence and being able to live the life you want to, especially if you're on that spiritual path and this whole break from 3D to 5D is really weighing on you and you're stressed out about what's going on and maybe these ascension energies are just too much for you to handle at times. This is just saying this crossed over loved one wants you to know you have the confidence and the strength as well to get through this and to make it you're not just getting by but you're going to be thriving is really what i'm seeing and with this finding card that's really saying she's like hugging herself i'm gonna have to show you as i mess up the whole table <laughs> um okay so she's kind of hugging herself or hugging her arms to her chest there and what this is really saying to me is that she's finding herself you guys are finding yourself and it comes through that confidence and courage to look within because there is a, quite a bit of that orangish kind of sacral up into solar plexus of that yellow chakra there's a lot of creativity in your lives that's going to help you be more confident so it's like creativity and confidence kind of go hand in hand for you and i think a lot of you maybe have had a lot of um self-esteem issues in your past especially where your creative projects and endeavors are concerned maybe they were um it was just hard for you to feel confident in what you're doing and and what direction you're going even but with this finding card spirit wants you to know that you are finding yourself and going back to that ancestry that lineage maybe with you discovering your lineage and looking into your ancestry especially on the side of if you are that person who is, you know, missing that grandmother in your life um, that sounded like the one that was really coming through, especially if you have both grandmothers crossed over and all the great grandmothers and everything, whichever one it sounded most like that, more, more aggressive and, you know, not afraid to let you know how she's feeling kind of grandmother, especially her, look into her family lineage and that side of your family because you're going to help find missing pieces of yourself. And even if you've done that ancestry research or have been thinking about it, you can still also go into a meditation with the intention to connect to your, your lineage, to your ancestors, not just on her side, but on all sides and see what messages they have for you because you would be shocked and surprised as to what they want to communicate to you. We are all on a collective level right now, healing ancestral karma, healing ancestral traumas and wounds and just misdeeds that have been done through our collective lineages. I mean, I don't think there's one lineage anywhere ever that hasn't had some sort of trauma or um, injustice going on somewhere. And especially if you are my more melanated viewers, my beautiful, beautiful melanated viewers, my beautiful colored people there I'm getting chills you guys there is a lot of ancestral just trauma on you know my natives and my African-Americans my 
um, just tribal people, just colored beautiful people. I just, I just almost want to cry because it's so heavy, but wow. Um, yeah, I don't know if you guys can see just the goosebumps that are on my arms right now. Wow. Um, my heart is with you guys as you go through this clearing of this trauma from your lineage. My beautiful, beautiful melanated people. Wow. Um, it's a heavy burden that you guys are bearing because you are the result of all of your ancestors. We all are. And especially my women viewers. My women viewers are the ones that kind of have to carry that ancestral mark as far as our womb energy traumas, um, birth traumas, traumas from our matriarchal lines, the, the women in our um, collective, in our, in our uh, I can't even talk, I'm just getting bombarded with this energy, um, our collect, our lineage is what I'm saying. Because especially if you think about your mother, her mother, her mother, her mother, and go down that matriarchal line as far back as you can, think of it this way. Your grandmother, your great-grandmother, great-great-great, all the way down the line, actually gave birth to you. Because, think of it this way, you were in her womb, you were in your mother's womb, with all of the eggs that you were going to be born with and have in your life. So therefore, your grandchildren were in your mother's womb while you were in your mother's womb. And back and back and back, all through lineage. So, we all carry that ancestral trauma. And that's really coming out strong for me, you guys. And especially coming down to this beauty card, there may just be, you know, you may look like this person who has crossed over, or you may just carry the, you know, native look of your people, um, whether you're whether you're Caucasian or melanated, it doesn't matter. You're gonna you're gonna feel that ancestry in your veins and it's going to reflect in what you look like and those of you who are of mixed race which i think all of us are at this point but those who are very clearly mixed race in today's society this is just trying to get you your loved one is trying to show you that you need to embrace your natural beauty especially if you're my beautiful melanated ladies um let your beautiful natural hair grow be natural, be connected to your lineage. I think this is gonna be a very important message for a specific few of you, but it's very, it's coming through very strong, very, very strong. And I know, I don't think the Raven specifically is connected to our ancestors. I haven't looked into that or haven't known that. It might be, I don't know, but I'm intuitively feeling like this Raven is a representation of your ancestors and how they communicate with you. So you may see a lot of ravens and you know even crows. I'm really picking up crows as well, but especially ravens. If you're outside, you may or you may be in your house and you hear their call that ah ah, you know how they do that. You may hear that and it may like ignite something deep within your soul or you may have this really strong affinity for ravens even though a lot of people don't like ravens. I feel you yourself have a connection to them or maybe coming up you will start having that connection to them. And it says here prepare for change. Archangels Azrael and I will never be able to say that. Bokpi? B-H-O-K-P-I. However you say that I do apologize if I'm totally butchering that. But I'm feeling like with this prepare for change this is talking about clearing that ancestral trauma so we can all as a collective once we've cleared a bunch of ancestral traumas collectively, we can ascend to a higher vibration into the 5D. That's really what this is saying to me. But in your more mundane day-to-day -day life, but in your more day-to-day -day life, preparing for change, there are going to be big changes coming for you guys that maybe not, they're maybe not always going to be really easy. They're going to be tough, I think, for some of you. But... For, I'm really being called up to here for study and that doesn't have to actually be you going back to school but some of you may be deciding that you want to go back to school for something and that could be having to do with health 
or kind of a more natural kind of health or Reiki or body um, like massage healing energy you guys are my healers through and through and you have the healing abilities that come through your ancestral line through your ancestors and they are coming online now more than ever and will continue to get more intense and better the longer the time goes on i cannot english today i'm so sorry you guys i'm just like i am swimming in this energy of your ancestors coming through like wow wow what I'm trying to say is you are leveling up, essentially is what I'm really wanting to say. You are leveling up, but I'll read what it says here on the study card. It says, spirit has its own special way of letting you know that it's time to study again. From time to time, it's important to go back and learn, whether that's learning old things in a new way or learning something totally new. This is an opportunity to expand your mind. So you may be looking into tarot or some sort of divin a form of divination to where you can use that, that form of communication to communicate with your crossed over loved ones, with your guides, with your angels, with the universe, with your ancestors. I feel like that's going to be very important to you guys, but going back to that beauty card, I just keep being drawn up to her as well. These two, um, if I can get it to focus, let me try that real quick. I apologize. <laughs> okay, so on both of these cards, you know, she here on the left she is hugging herself. She's finally embracing who she is and loving herself, maybe for the first time ever, or maybe for the first time since she was very young. And I do feel like that's how you guys are gonna start operating in life, is finding this sense of love for yourself. And then others of you are going to start embracing that more natural beauty that you were gifted from all of your ancestors. You are the accumulation of everything they've ever contributed to this world. You are the physical living representation of all of them and all of that they have done and been through and survived. That's you. So if that alone doesn't tell you how magnificent you are, I don't know what will. You guys are very needed on this planet right now and very beautiful and you're very needed. So studying is going to be important for you guys. Again, whether you're going back to school or just studying topics that interest you or that you feel have power and meaning at this time, don't be afraid to learn something because you're gonna benefit from it greatly. Then we have grace and gratitude. Through gratitude, joy expands. So just being grateful for all that you have, all that you've been through, that it has led you up to this point is really going to help you, you know, just keep more in that positive vibration because things on the planet right now are very hard, are very heavy, and it's not an easy thing to be existing in this year 2020. Even if you're watching this later than the time of my posting, you have already made it through 2020 if you're watching this later. If you're still in 2020 when I'm posting this, we all, we got this, we got this, we can do this and you're no exception, but just keeping that, holding that um, intention of what we're going toward, we're seeing all these things crumble around us, the systems, the fighting, the division, all this um, racial stuff going on. We're seeing this stuff play out and we can focus on that and get angry and want to fight others to prove our point or to get validation or vindication or whatever that looks like. Or we can have grace and gratitude for what it is we do have and keep that future in mind to where we want to go. Keeping our head held high with this confidence card and knowing we're on a better track. We are on our way to a better place. And just knowing that and holding that in your heart is going to really help you level your life up and enjoy the journey, much like group two. But just this card was so hard hitting with what's going on and just knowing that we are leaving the old behind the old and familiar behind and stepping into something that's uncertain but yet holds a lot of beauty and value and stuff that's gonna have I mean it's just gonna be beyond our wildest dreams where we're headed 
But in order to get there, we gotta bridge the gap from this dumpster fire of what we're living in now to get there. But the more we concentrate on that dumpster fire, the more and longer we're gonna be immersed in that dumpster fire. So obviously, if you're in one of these cities where there's a lot of craziness going on, or there's just a lot of chaos in your personal life, just, you know, not spiritually bypassing that, but just just knowing that that's what's going on and accepting that's what's happening, but not that fatalistic kind of surrender where you're like, well, woe is me, this is my life. No, you're accepting that, but then saying, but I want this. And then redirecting that energy and intention to what it is you do want, because it's going to help lift you up out of the dust, like that phoenix rising from the ashes as I see this raven here in flight, like this raven from the ashes. So I love that. So then we, as my books fall on the shelf, that scared me. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I love when they show up in the physical like this because there is so much energy going on right now, you guys. My books like took a tumble on the shelf there. That was interesting. <laughs> Woo, I love when they scare me a little bit. They gotta keep me on my toes. So synchronicity, are you noticing signs of synchronicity that the spirit world has been sending to you at this time? People and situations in your life are not appearing by coincidence. In reality, they're being guided to you from the spirit world to help you in a, for a specific reason. And I'm again being drawn back over to this raven because the raven is looking right at this synchronicity card like it's pointing, hey, watch for the signs I'm sending you. And for some of you, that might be a raven feather. I know group number one chose a feather with their reading. But I feel of all the groups that may be connected, you may have selected piles number one and three because there was that feather symbology with group one and then the ancestors and the feather stuff going on with this raven. I'm really feeling like those two may be connected. So if you did not watch group one and want to get some more guidance and whatever, go ahead and do that. So one more card. I don't want to make this video too, too long. We're already at 25 minutes, folks. <laughs> So let's get into this last card. It says, believe the force that works through your soul, determining what's possible or impossible. The difference between success over failure and above all who you are is the power of your belief. So with this clearing of that ancestral trauma, we are also shifting our belief systems as a collective consciousness. And if you want to boil that down to just an individual, which would be you in this case, your belief systems literally shape your reality. So if you believe you can't be X, Y, or Z, guess what? You'll never be X, Y, or Z. If you believe this world is, you know, as I was saying, that dumpster fire and it always will be, that's what you're going to manifest for yourself. But I don't feel you guys are that way. You guys understand this stuff probably on a deeper level than my other piles do, that you guys are co-creators of this reality that we call life in the 3D right now and moving into 5D. And the more you can embrace who you know yourself to be on that soul level, that potential within you, and you start operating from that place of potential rather than that place of where you are currently. I know it's, they say your power is in the present moment and it absolutely is, but also holding the intention of stepping into your potential while being present in the moment. That is so powerful. That is doubly powerful. If you're just present in the moment, but you don't really have any plans for the future, you're, you're, you, know, you still have all your power right with you, but when you can keep your power in the present moment and then start thinking and putting intention into the future, you pull that future closer to you. Those good things you want in your life, you pull them closer faster, if that makes any sense. So I know this reading got a little bit deep and maybe a little heavy. I know um, Spirit wanted to come out to play because they uh, knocked my books down on my shelf. There might be some weird little things that happen during readings, like sometimes I'll have a bird come stand near the window and look in at me, which is always fun, or, you know, uh, they might do weird things with my candles, but this is the first time I think we've had like physical activity within the room during a reading. And I love that that validation happens because it lets us all know that we are tapping into something greater than just us. And 
it's still very much alive. This person is still very much alive and working through you and living through you and with you every step of the way. So you will have to let me know below what stories you have, if this grandmother energy was on point for you or something about your ancestors and just stepping into your own truth and clearing that ancestral trauma. You'll have to let me know any memories you have or any stories you have about that because I always love to hear because it helps validate to me that I'm on the right track and then I can get you more accurate readings when the information that I'm getting is validated and then I can also speak with you guys because I always try to answer as many comments as I can. It's starting to get a little difficult to be able to answer them all right away because my subscriber base is growing a little bit now, but I still do try to connect with you guys as much as possible. So let me know below what you thought and if it resonated. And as always, you guys, thanks again so, so much for all your likes, comments, shares, subscribes, and all the things. And I really, truly do hope to see you back at the Done Creative. All right, bye.